What's good, everybody? It's your Uncle Sanders Reject here, and welcome back to the channel, boys. Now, I thought I was recording this video, but I was actually streaming it by mistake. My bad. So, a few things have happened, but we will go over the, the basics before that. Power rankings right now in the season, number 18. Conference rank right now, number 5. NBA standards, best team in the East is the Heat, the Bucks, the Raptors, the Nets. Then you got us at 14 and 11. We're only over the Celtics because we play more games than them. Then you got the Wizards, the Hawks, and the Pacers all in the mix. And then Western Conference, the Lakers are by far the best team, 21 and 3. Behind them is the Mavs, the Suns, the Clippers, the Blazers, the Pelicans, the Jazz Kings, and Wolves are all in the mix there. Take a look at what we are looking like. Zach Levine is leading us to scoring at 24 points a game. He's averaging four boards, four assists, almost a steal a game. Only two turnovers a game, so you know what I mean? Uh, Got to get those down a little bit because the assist to turnover ratio is a little high. Kobe White's our second leading scorer at 12. Laurie Marketing is averaging 11.3. Pat Williams is averaging 10.2. Wendell Carter is averaging 8.3. Now, you're not noticing somebody up here that's all a porter. He was averaging 8.9, but like I said in the last episode, he had to go. We went over the trades, and this is what we came up with. So what we did, boys, we, we were offered a first-round pick for Auto Porter by the Oklahoma City Thunder. It's their draft pick that they actually got you know what I mean, uh, from the Heat, but it swapped the best pick with Houston. And we also got George Hill in the deal for Auto Porter in the second rounder. Then we went through with that trade. We did go ahead and waive George Hill. Only nine mil on the books, and it will be off the books after this season, so it's not that big of a deal. Now, with Auto Porter leaving, I feel like we do need another wing player that's going to be able to come in, come in and give us buckets. We got a young guy like Alonzo Trier who can come in and get that done at the shooting guard position. 6'4", got some, got some height, got some lift to him and everything like that. You also got an older dude in Deion Waiters. But if you come over to the threes, um, you can get a three-point specialist like Kyle Korver to come off the bench that's just going to hit shots for you and everything like that. And I feel like this might be the best option because we're not calling Kyle Korver off of the bench, you know what I'm saying, uh, to knock down anybody. We're calling him strictly off the bench to be able to knock down threes. So we will be bringing Kyle Korver back to the shot. So, of course, one year league minimum. Go ahead and offer that deal. He happily accepts. Go ahead and switch up our rotation a little bit. So now we're going to move Kyle Korver up on the playing time. He's going to expect it to get more minutes than uh, Denzel Valentine. So he will be the eighth man off the bench. Like I said, more of a specialist. We already know he's a defensive liability, but if you take a look, Zach Levine is on fire, and so is Pat Williams. So, you know what I mean? We're definitely getting, you know what I mean, some, 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 good, um, some good production out of this rookie. He's feeling, he's feeling, wow, they say this. He's feeling lit about uh, about how things are going. I'm having a great time. We put together a great stretch here. Come on, let's get it. Now, there are a few other roster moves we did make, and we're going to check in on those roster moves here in this episode. Uh, Chandler Hutchinson wasn't getting a lot of burn. I didn't really see him seeing the floor a lot. We sent him down to the G League to get his reps. You know, only 24 years old, not that bad. Morale's down a little bit, but he'll be okay. Uh, come down here, same thing with Darius Gafford. You know what I mean? Uh, wasn't really finding time, finding his way on the court. We also sent him down to the G League to get his reps. He only has one year left for remaining on his contract, so it is what it is. And then we got our overseas guy, Adam Makoa from France. Makoka, excuse me. 22 years old, 68 overall. You know what I mean? We, uh, we, we sent him down to the G League with his two-way contract, and, you know, we want him to get his reps there as well. And what I mean by saying we're going to check in on that right here in this episode, we're going to jump into a D-League game, a G-League game, excuse me, only four-minute quarters. You know what I mean? We're going to knock that out. We're going to have normalized stats on. You see here, Darius Gafford and Chandler Hutchinson are both starting. Makoka is coming off the bench. I can't switch the starting lineup, so I have no say-so on it. Let's see if we can come out here and perform well with our guys. You know what I mean? And hopefully they can get better and make it back up with the big squad. All right, man, you just got to love those low times, boys. We hit X and we're already in the game. Makoka, I believe, is supposed to be a shooter, so I definitely want to see what he can do. But Chandler Hutchinson, you know what I'm saying, Darius Gafford, I don't want them just sitting at the end of the bench every day, all day. I want them to actually come out here and get some playing time, boys. So here we go. Those are who we're going to run the offense through, you know what I mean, pretty much exclusively. We do not want to tip with Gafford, but it's all good. Let's get it. Also, I also get to see some of the other talent I do or don't have down here on the, on the, on the G League team as well. So, you know what I mean, it's definitely a good look. Uh... Chandler Hutchinson is leading the team in scoring in his short stint that he's been here already. So you do definitely love to see it. That shot is up. It's off. Boom, we're on the boards. Martin pushing. We got Hutchinson on the wing. Oh, he was open. The shot was there, bro. All right, let's run a play here. Let's run a play for, uh, for Hutchinson. Gafford's open down low. 
Let's see if he works. Oh, excuse me. Let's go. See what I mean? Uh, I want one thing. Things I want to see here. I want to see Gafford dominate the post. You know what I mean? I want to see. I want to see Chandler Hutchinson be a decent defender. I want to see him. You know what I mean? Slash and drive to the basket. You know what I mean? I want. I want to see him finish at the rim. Those are the things I want to see here from Chandler Hutchinson. And we did move up to Hall of Fame as well. You know what I mean? So that's one. That's another thing that we did for this episode. And uh, what we plan on doing for the rest of the series, I think Hall of Fame is going to be good money. Now, do I know that G League is going to be a little bit easier of an experience playing-wise? Yes, but like I said, just like in baseball, you know what I mean? I want to be able to check in with my prospects. I want to be able to check in with the future, the set of, quote-unquote, future of my organization. And um, I don't feel like just being up with the big club you know what I mean? Wasting away, not getting any reps is the answer. As Martin is on the board, pushing. Where's Chandler Hutchinson? Try to play. There we go. Get to the rack, baby. And one. You got to finish. You got to finish. You got to finish. What is that? But yeah, if you guys, if this is something you guys are interested in seeing down the line, you know what I mean? Let me know. I might up the minutes here and there. You know what I mean? I might not always play on four minutes, but it's something I want to incorporate in the series. It's coming down here to the G League as Gaffer gets another dunk. Way to run the floor by the big fella. I want to I want to do this in the series. Throughout the series, I want to be able to check in with the G League and see what our guys are doing down there. You know, because we might we might draft an overseas player. You know what I mean? And we might want to stash them in the G League if we don't want to stash them overseas. You know, it's a few different things we can do in these situations. Oh, there he is. He's got the ball top of the key. Here's a screen from Gafford. Good pull up. I would have much rather you go to the basket. Gafford on the board. Let's get it, baby. Can't lie, though, man. The G League, you, the G League courts and everything are looking good. You know what I mean? I'm glad. One thing I wish they would do, though, I wish you could actually, because I know in, in years past, maybe, maybe I'm tripping. I wish you could control the actual G League roster in the in the, in the lineups because I would give Makoa, you know what I mean, that starting nod to get a lot more playing time down here because he doesn't really play in the game some when he's not there. So, But, you know, they don't really let you actually – Control, you know what I mean, your G League team. You're just kind of at the at the mercy of the randomness. Oh, so random. Okay, okay. We're learning. We're learning about one of our bigs down here in the G League. His name is Randolph. As he misses that layup there, he's got an A. He's got an A mid range. He's got a B. He's got a B inside scoring. So you know what I mean. We're definitely going to uh, give him some uh, touches here in the second quarter. I want to see what he can do for us. Get through that screen, Leslie. The D and Randolph with the block. Let's go. Look up. I'm pulling that. Way downtown, Randall. Bang! Let's go. All right, we got Randolph running the floor. This is just who I want to see more of. Excuse me. Let's go. You know what I mean? We may we may eventually have to move on from uh, Chandler Hutchinson, which I think is might be the smartest thing to do. But you know what I mean? We'll see we'll see what he does if he can get back in my good graces here in the G League as he runs the floor here, getting all the way to the basket, catching a body, baby. Let's go. All right, boys. Here we go. Second half, man. You know what I mean? It's going to be more. You're only really going to see highlights of this. You're not going to really see the whole game. But, you know, it's definitely something I'm thinking. It's definitely something I'm thinking about doing is, uh, you know what I'm saying, possibly playing a whole G League game. If you guys, like I said, if you guys would be interested or if you just want the shorter version, you know what I mean, just to see. Or we can just play a full game and then I can give you guys, like, a little quick rundown highlights, you know what I mean, and how, how guys are doing and everything like that. So, you know, you guys just let me know, bro. But, like I said, Chandler Hutchinson is the leading scorer right now. You know, without my help, as he runs the break there, way to run after the bad shot. Good transition bucket. Let's get it. We already know how, uh, like I was saying, man, we know how dominant Gafford can be and is. But, you know what I mean? We're going to see what we can do here. We got Hutchinson in the corner. Supposed to be a 3D guy. Too much. Too much. And one. Let's go, Chandler. As soon as we pump fake, you try to really get in our grill. You're too slow for all that. Too slow for all that, Pimper. Let's go. This is his second trip to the free Boom, green light. Three to hard way. Let's get it. All right, we go. We're up 12 here. Like I said, I want to see what Chandler Hutchinson can do down here on the ISO. Oh, especially he's got a big on him. He's got a big on him. You got to eat. You got to eat on that big, baby. Let's go. All right, boom. All right, let me get a screen and roll here with Gaffer. Let's see how he runs that. Boom. Roll, kid. Throw the lob. Hey, let's go. All right, guys. So I actually messed up there. I was checking out trophies and I quit out of the game by mistake instead of letting it go all the way through. My bad. So, you know what I mean? We don't know, uh, you know what I mean, how much Hutchinson and Gafford would have scored with the, uh, you know what I'm saying, with the uh, with this, with the the sim with the simulation numbers and, and minutes, uh, you know, normalizer. But we did get to see them actually do work down there. Another person I had, two more people I had my eye on, man. 
Rodney Randolph, who's only 72 overall, but he's a straight shooter. And then we got uh, we got Allen Randolph, who's a big man who can shoot, but I feel like he's an absolute force down low. And right now we've here we've heard some bad news from our best two players. Zach Levine is saying he would like to test free agency, which I don't. I, I guess it's not that big of a deal yet because he still has two years on his contract. If I'm not mistaken, let me just make sure. Yeah, he still has two years left, no options, so he will be coming back next year no matter what. But then Lori Marketing, who only has one year left on his deal, says he will test free agency or he won't resign. So, you know, instead of losing Lori Marketing for free, I feel like close to the trade deadline, we'll look to move on from him and, you know, get something back in return rather than losing him. Um, like I said in the beginning of the uh, in episode one, didn't really know if Lori Marketing was here to stay or not. We already know we would like to build around Zach Levine, and we just got to find a way to make that happen. So actually what I decided to do here, boys, what I think we're going to do, we're going to simcast some games, you know what I mean? See if uh, we could jump in first game. We got the Charlotte Hornets, LaMelo Ball. LaMelo Ball is actually coming off of the bench here. So let's just see, you know what I mean, if it, we're going to do it how we do in college. Let's see if it's a good enough game in the fourth quarter for us to jump in late and possibly change, you know what I mean, the outcome of the game. 438 left. We're up to, let's see what we can do. We are at home. We're starting off with the Rock. Boom, we go to Zach Levine. He's got 22 here in this game. Graham against Levine. You know how much we uh, like to run through him. Devontae Graham is a mismatch on Zach Levine. We get to the rack. Left hand finger roll, baby. Let's go. I really hope that Zach Levine, uh, you know what I mean, chooses to sign with us long term. Um, like I said, Lori Marketing is cool. We can get stretch bigs from anywhere. Not really progressing the way we would want them to anyway. The Mellow Ball is in during crunch time. Working the ball around. They got a lot of guards. I don't even think they. Their, their big man right now is Gordon Hayward. Pat Williams on Gordon Hayward. A little fade away from Gordon Hayward, and he gets that to go. Kobe bringing it up court. Let's just be smart here. It's not rush. Oh, wow. They got uh, they got bridges on Levine now. So this isn't going to be a tough finish for him. I mean, a tough, uh, a tough way to score at all. But Malik Monk is on Kobe White, and Kobe White is way too fast. He gets to the rack, finishes that with the left. Let's go. Now, when it comes to their guards offensively, we got our work cut out for us. It's Devontae Graham. Let's that go. Wow, he's off. Zach Levine running the break. Kobe has the step. Way downtown. Oh, I need that. Slightly early somehow, bro. That's a good look, man. I'm not mad at that look ever. Way to find him up top, uh, Zach Levine. Now, Kobe, excuse me, is on Gordon Hayward. And he gets to the rack with ease. Kobe, Kobe White is low-key a very, very... Very much liability defensively, but what he brings to the table offensively is so much better. Now, you know what I mean? You can't really get mad at that. Big athletic guard that gets to the rack. Please set up so we can run our plays. Boom, go to Lori. Got a screen coming. Appreciate that. Get to the basket. Lori catching a body. Let's go. All right, Pat Williams on uh, Gordon Hayward now. Gordon Hayward still getting to the rack with ease. All right, Zach on, Devon, on Malik Monk. I got to put up a bad shot. Mm. It's hauled in by Hayward. Hayward's got rebound number eight now. Well, I keep confusing P.J. Washington with Miles Bridges. I said P.J. Washington was Miles Bridges earlier. Wide open is Malik Monk. We actually run him off the three-point line. Kicks out Devontae. He's off. They really wanted three, bro. Kick up to Kobe, though. Nope, pull out, pull out, pull out, pull out. No need to rush. Zach Levine's calling for the ball. I can respect it. There we go. This, this is who the offense needs to run through. No no way Malik Monk should be able to stay in front of you, bro. No way. Hey, let's go, Zach. All right, boys. So in the stats of that game, Zach Levine ended up with 27 on 24 shots. Seven boards, five assists, 14 for Wendell Carter Jr. Kobe White with 12. Denzel, Wall Denzel Valentine with 11 off the bench. Pat Williams had eight and four. He also shot efficiently. I'm happy to see he's taking threes, man. You don't got to make them all, but I want to see you taking them. Lori Marketing with only six and ten. Not, not not good at all. He's been really, really underperforming this whole entire season. He has the nerve to say he won't resign. I'm cool with that. I know your shots are going down with Zach Levine and everything like that, but you will be out of here real, real soon. All right, guys, we got another SimCast game. We will be taking on the Clippers. Now, we already know we may not be in this game late, as you can see here. Oh, no. We're down five. They make a – okay, we're down three with a minute 20. Let's see what we can do, baby. Down, down three with a minute 20, rather. I got that wrong. The guard set is white alongside Levine. So this is a clear out for Zach Levine block, with Pat Bev on him. Supposed to be a lockdown down defender. I don't see it. Get to the rack. And one. We got to finish those. We got to finish those, Zach. We got to finish those, baby. 
Come on, he's a baby, bro. He's a baby. Oh, okay. Ooh, I keep mixing up people's releases on these free throws, bro. Boom, there we go. Green light. Down one. We're down one here, boys. We need to stop. Of course, we got uh, Paul. Oh, my goodness. Wow, Paul George just took that shot with pure confidence, bro. We went underneath the screen, and he made us pay. And now they're putting Paul George on Zach Levine. Kobe White way downtown. I need one. That one's off. Might have rushed a little bit. Ibaka's on the board. Just stop ball. Just ball. Just stop ball. Batum is over here on the Clippers now. And Paul, so Paul George put this team on his back late. And if we don't score here, it's pretty much a wrap, bro. If we don't score here, it's pretty much a wrap. We definitely need a three. Or at least three the hard way. And one. God dang it, bro. Paul George misses one of his free throws. Maybe let's go. All right, here we go. Only down five, bro. We are still in this game. We don't necessarily need a three either. Get to the basket. They're going to let us get to the basket easy. Down three. Can we get a steal? Let's get a steal here. Ah. Foul, 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 foul. I need you to miss one, PG. It's a wrap if you miss one. All right, goes two for two. All right, here we go. We got to try to get foul with Zach. It's got Paul George on him. Ah, good finish, good finish, good finish. We need to steal here. We need to steal. Well, we know Zach Levine has got tremendous ah. Ah, right, boys. I think it's safe to say this is when we need a three. Boom. Levine gets to Corver. Kyle Corver. That's what we brought you here for. Unable to hit one. That's going to be the game. Final stats in that one, boys. Zach Levine with 35, 4, and 5. Uh, Pat Williams with 21, 2, and 3. You love to see that. Kobe with 19 and 2. And two. Wendell Carter with 8 and 17. Lori Marketing only played two minutes. Did he get hurt? Was Lori Marketing injured in this game? Yes, Lori Marketing was injured. Expected to miss four to six weeks. That hurts big time. So with that, let's go ahead and check out our uh, check out our uh, let's go ahead and check out our um, what am I trying to say? <laughs> check out our um, our rotation. So Kyle Corver, who is cold right now. Not really getting the job done. Loses his minutes. Gary Temple is going to come up. Uh, let's see what we can do here. Now, Thaddeus Young is our starter. Okay. So, now we can't even trade. We can't even trade Laurie Marketing if we wanted to right now, boys. Because he's injured. You can't trade injured, injured players, of course. Now, here we are going up against the Thunder. I'm going to probably just let this one play all the way through. Unless it just stays super duper close. And we are running away with it late with free throws. And we almost won by double digits there. So, the rookie for the Thunder... Uh, Pukusevsky goes for 21 on us. Otto Porter also goes for 18 on us. And that, that with, with us getting rid of him. Zach Levine continues to do his work. Denzel Valentine with 18 off the bench. 14 and 9 for Wendell Carter. Pat Williams with 12 and 4. 7 and 10 for Thad Young. Let's go. So we go ahead and sim the last three games. Um, you know what I mean? We lose by 10 to the Wizards. 31 from Bradley Bill. 18 from Russell Westbrook. 29 from Levine. 21 from Valentine. 10 from Kobe White. Come over here. We also lose by 11 to the Pistons. Derrick Rose gives us 26. So, he, you know what I mean? He plays against his former team, gives us gives us pure work. Uh, Zach Levine with 23 more points. Kobe White with 13, 12 for Denzel Valentine. Another double-digit performance for Pat Williams. You love to see it. Wendell Carter continues to be an absolute monster on them boards. Uh, you know what I mean? He's almost averaging 10, point, 10 boards a game, and that's something we need to see out of him being that his archetype is a glass cleaner. And then we bounce back finally with a big win versus the Magic. We're, we're, the, all these games are on the road. Markel Fultz uh, gives 18, 15 for Vucevic, 14 from Ennis, 20 from Levine, 12 from Kobe, 12 from Denzel, 11 from uh, Staderansky, and then 10 from Thad Young. All right, guys, so we sim a few more games. Nearing the All-Star break, Luka Doncic right now is leading the league in scoring with 29 and a half. Way ahead of anybody else, Dane Lillard is right there with 25, 25 from Jokic, 24 from B, 24 from uh, Ante Dacumbo. Zach Levine is top five in the uh, top 10 in the league, averaging 24 points a game. You love to see it. With these games, you see up top on the right-hand corner of the screen, we've uh, dropped down to 20 in the power ranking, nine in the conference. Uh, we are under, you know what I mean, 500, 19 and 22. Like I said, I, really, I expect this to be in a mix, but I really don't expect this to make the playoffs. I think when it all comes down to it, when it's all said and done, we might just miss out. But we're going to be an eighth seed, and we're probably going to, you know what I mean, not really make any noise or make a splash in the playoffs. Go to the Western Conference. Uh, the Lakers are only one game ahead of the Suns and the Mavs. 
You know what I mean? The next closest after that is six game, the Jazz, Clippers, Nuggets, Blazers, Pelicans. The Kings and Timberwolves are still in the mix as well early on. So, boys, we ultimately decided that we were going to move on from Lori Marketing and not for free. Um, you know what I mean? We can't guarantee that Kyle Kuzma will decide to stay with us long term. But with getting rid of Lori Marketing, we also get that wing player that we, look, we were looking for when we traded um, when we when we when we traded uh, Otto Porter and signed Kyle Korver, uh, Kentavious Pope, KCP, you know what I'm saying we already know what we can get out of him, and uh, Kyle Kuzma definitely fits my play style a little bit more. And we already know KCP is a good defender as well. We do have to take on a big contract from KCP. Not really sure what it's going to do, you know what I'm saying as far as like to our to our salary cap as much. He's making a little over ten a year for the rest of everything going on, you know what I mean. But I think it's worth it. Kuzma is two years older than Laurie Marketing and everything like that. But, you know what I'm saying? Um, he's just not really cutting it here in Chicago. Now, I'm trying to keep a lot of these trades to the minimum. You know what I'm saying? And I'm trying to build through the draft and everything like that. But I think a trade like this is, like, beneficial to both teams. Maybe they can sign Lori, uh, you know what I mean? And he'll, he'll stay, you know what I mean, after, after this year. Maybe we could do the same with Kyle Kuzma. Now, this is what our new rotation is looking like. We just found out. Wendell Carter Jr. also said that he won't re-sign with the squad, which is cool because we were already thinking about moving on from him anyway. And one of the people in the draft that we're heavily focused on is getting a big man. We want Evan Mobley, even if we have to trade up to do it. KCP is going to potentially be trade bait in the offseason for sure. So we got Kobe White, Zach Levine, Pat Williams, who I thought about trading for. P. I thought about trading for Buddy Hill, moving Zach Levine to the three, putting Buddy Hill at the two, and then having Pat Williams at the four. But... We, we, we opted to go with Kuzma. Those stretch for action can also win off the dribble. Him and Pat Williams should complement each other well. You know, Wendell Carter Jr., who we do, who already know now, isn't in the future of, you know what I mean, the squad. We want to see what he can do. But we can also always bring up Gar Darius Gafford from the G League. You know what I mean? So, well, you know, down the stretch towards the end of the season after the um, All-Star break, we might bring him back up from the G League. That way he can start to get his reps and everything like that, and he can get used to being our man in the middle. But that's going to do it for today's episode, man. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you did, stop and smash that like button. Hit me up in the comment section below. Subscribe if you're new. It's your boy Uncle Sam's Reject, RKGames.com. I'm out of here. Peace. It's 2 a.m. I'm on the west side. Rolling with my gang. We've been grinding up this money at your door just like a necktie. Running up some change. We've been stacking up this thriller. 2 a.m. I'm on the west side. Rolling with my gang.